Hi, my name is Efna. I'm a climber and a yoga teacher, and I'm here today at the Depot Climbing Centre in Manchester to run through some yoga for rock climbers that you can join in with at home. So this is a session designed to help us open across the chest and power up some of the muscles in the back. When we're climbing a lot, we can get a little bit close through the pecs and the shoulders can roll in. So we're going to try to oppose that action and have the power to slightly open up the posture. And that's going to be a lot healthier for us in our general alignment. So we're going to start this one standing at the front of the mat. Bring your feet right underneath your hips. And we'll start with the, finger, the palms facing forwards. So stand up nice and tall, draw the shoulders down the back. And as we inhale, we'll lift the palms up to the ceiling. And we're going to do a little back bend. So lift the heart up and look up towards your fingertips. Bring the palms together. We're going to bring the hands down to the heart and we're going to hinge all the way forwards. Inhale, lift to your flat back position. And exhale, fold forwards. Hands come down flat, step to the top of a push up. Lift your belly button up towards the spine. Inhale, exhale, elbows in next to the body, lower all the way to the mat. Little cobra, draw the shoulders back, bring the heart forwards and lift the crown of the head. Exhale, tuck the toes under, lift back to your downward facing dog shape. Lift the hips nice and high, keep drawing the shoulders down away from the ears. Inhaling, lift the right heel up towards the ceiling and then place that right foot at the front of the mat in between the hands. We're coming to a warrior one, so we're going to step our left foot slightly wider and spin the heel onto the ground. So the foot will be at about 45 degrees. We're going to lift the shoulders over the hips and bring the hands onto the hips. So just take a look down. If your left hand is quite far behind your right, bring that hip forward so two hips face the front. If that feels uncomfortable in the knee, you just step a little bit wider there. Inhale, reaching the hands up towards the ceiling. And then we're going to bring our arms down to 90 degrees. So bringing the elbows down, creating a goal post. We're going to reach the elbows back and then reach the heart forward so we start to open across the pecs. So that might feel quite intense already. If it does, then just stay where you are. If you can, we're going to lift the gaze up onto the diagonal, open the heart towards the ceiling. And then slowly, we might be able to start to lengthen the arms up and back there. But go gently, because that might feel quite strong. You might not get all the way to straight. Take another inhale. And then exhale, bring the body back to neutral. Sweep the hands down the side. We're going to interlace the fingers behind us, so crossing the fingers over. And then reaching down the back, drawing the shoulder blades together. We're going to fold forwards for our humble warrior. Let the head drop forwards, let the hands drop right overhead, lift the belly button up towards the spine. Draw that right hip back so we're still working with the two hips facing the front of the mat and we're not twisting there. Lovely. One last breath. And then reaching the hands back down that leg, bring your body upright again. Free the hands, bring them down either side of that front foot. Come onto the toes of the back foot and step back to the top of a push up. Exhale, lower all the way down to the ground. So we're going to spend a moment on the floor here, we're going to do some prep for our locust pose. We're going to start with our forehead down onto the ground and we're going to reach our hands out away from us. We'll be lifting the upper part of the body so as we inhale we're going to prepare, exhale, reach the crown of the head and the fingers away from the pelvis and then inhale, lift. The whole upper body off the floor, nice. Inhale, lifting the head a little bit higher, stay there on the exhale, one more breath in, lifting, exhale to lower. Just rest, you can rest on the side of the face for a moment, take a nice deep breath. And then come back onto the forehead, to the back of the neck straight. We're going to prepare the lower half of the body, so we'll do the same thing. As we inhale, we'll prepare. As we exhale, reach the toes away from the pelvis and then inhale, lifting the legs up off the floor. You can press the front of the hips into the ground, take one more breath, lifting a little bit higher. And then exhale, lowering down to the floor again. Rest with your face to the other side, just for a moment. Nice, steady breath. And then we're going to go for both ends of the body. We're going to bring the forehead back onto the ground. Inhale as we prepare. Exhale, head and toes reach away from each other. Inhale, we're lifting everything up towards the ceiling. And then try to bring your legs just a little bit closer together. Inhale, lift everything, draw the shoulders down the back. One more breath in, crown of the head, lift. And then exhale, lower, nice. Bring the hands next to the chest, we'll come back to a child's pose for a moment. One breath here. And then find your way back to your downward dog. So spread the hands nice and wide, tuck the toes underneath you, press all the knuckles into the mat, lift the hips up high. Shoulder blades draw down the back away from the ears. Lifting the left heel towards the ceiling now. As we exhale, we're bringing that left foot forwards, placing it in between our hands. Spinning the back foot down and stepping a little wider for our warrior one. 
Again, just bring your hands onto your hips momentarily to check that that right hip is moving forwards. And then lunge so the knee comes over the ankle. Really nice. Inhale, lift for the ceiling. Exhale, make that goal pose. So elbows come to 90 degrees. We're gonna reach the sternum forwards and draw the elbows backwards. You can draw the shoulder blades together behind us. And then if it feels comfortable, we're gonna lift up on the diagonal, start to open across that chest and look up at the ceiling a little bit more. And then slowly starting to lengthen the arms up and back. Take your time, you might not get all the way there. Last breath in. And then exhale, bring the body back to neutral, sweep the hands down, interlace the fingers behind you, press the hands away from you, and folding forwards, humble warrior, let the head drop down, let the hands fall right overhead. Lift the belly button up towards the spine so we're supported. Keep that left hip moving backwards, that's it. Let the hands drop right overhead. And then reach those hands down our leg. We'll bring ourselves back up to standing again. Great, we're gonna free the hands down onto the floor, come onto the ball of the back foot and step to the back of the mat, lowering all the way down onto the belly. So we're gonna go for our locust pose and for our locust, we're working with the same lift of the upper back and the legs as before, but we're gonna interlace the hands. So we're gonna reach back, interlace the fingers, have the forehead on the ground to begin with, inhale to prepare, and then exhale, reach the hands down towards your feet, close the shoulder blades together, lift the chest, lift the crown of the head, and then see if you can lift the feet up off the ground as well, and see if you can lift the hands away from the bum. Inhale, lifting everything a little bit higher. One more breath in. And exhale, folding, letting everything drop. Just turn your head to one side for a moment. Let the breath just level out again. And then bringing the forehead back to the center. So if that locust pose felt like it was strong enough, then stick with that, we're gonna repeat that. If you want to go a little bit further, we're gonna to go to our bow. So for bow, we're gonna bend our legs. We're gonna take hold around our feet. And we're gonna lengthen through the lower back by pressing the front of the hips into the ground. We'll inhale to prepare. Exhale, imagine the head reaching forwards. And then we're gonna reach the, toe, the feet back, pressing into the hands. Opening across the chest, lifting the crown of the head. You might be able to lift the feet up a little bit so we start to open in the front of the body even more. Really nice. One more breath in there. And exhale, lowering, let everything relax. Really nice, everyone. <sighs> Press the hands down next to your chest. We're coming back to our child's pose. Rest the hips back onto the heels. Let the lower back just ease off. So really let the pelvis be heavy. Let the hips sink right back onto the heels. Just giving yourself a moment to breathe away any tension that we might have built up there. And then slowly we're gonna come up to sit. And we're gonna whiz our legs around the front so we come to sit on our bum. Starting with the knees bent and the soles of the feet in the ground. We're gonna bring the hands down, fingertips pointing forwards. As we inhale, we're gonna press the hands into the ground, lengthen the arms and lift the chest up. And you might be able to drop the head back to rest on the shoulders and then gently come back to neutral again. Nice, we're doing a reverse tabletop. So this time we'll press the feet into the floor, lengthen the arms, lift the chest, and lift the hips nice and high. And again, you might be able to rest the head back. If you really press the ground away, the trapezius can create a little cushion there. If it doesn't feel comfortable, keep your neck in line. Keep the hips lifting, one more breath in. And then exhale, bring the chin in slowly, lowering the hips down onto the floor again. Nice, bring the, the feet out in front, we're gonna do it with the legs long. If it already felt quite strong with them, them bent, then just repeat the tabletop. So press the hands down, lift the chest, lift the hips so we come onto the top, the soles of the feet, and then keep lifting the hips, lift the rib cage up towards the ceiling. Perhaps you can let the head drop back. So we're opening the whole front of the body and really strengthening through the back of the body. One more inhale, lifting. Exhale, tuck the chin in and slowly lowering the bum down onto the ground, really nice. And that concludes our practice to open the chest and strengthen the back. So I hope you've enjoyed the session. If you're carrying straight onto another one, then enjoy. And remember, you can keep coming back to these as many times as you like. Keep improving, keep getting stronger, and keep aiding your climbing. Thank you so much for joining me.